at your own walk. Do you know what I mean? Because it's actually. It's worth it. No, you're not taking it. <laughs> You see money all around me I look like I'm the man yeah. But I was born in LA last week Tell me where have you been yeah. Came out of the hiding girl Don't act like I'm your man I'm just a fan Put on hold me Put on hold me Oh, oh, what the hell? Wow, this one looks a bit sad. <laughs> Isn't this the team that's winning? This is the team that's winning. It's a good vibe. Is it good? I'm gonna film on man. was cracky lucky and hope you guys are good welcome to another weekly vlog hope you enjoyed the little montage i just did of me going to a football stadium match my first time going to a football stadium match it was actually really really fun like it was in vip like it actually felt so weird because when you watch football you usually see it on the tv but to actually be there it was actually such a weird experience but i proper proper enjoyed myself it was so much fun i felt like a footballer's wife um <laughs> We got to eat in the VIP suite as well. We had like a full course dinner, starters, main. We had dessert. The drinks were flowing, wine, cocktails. You can even have a cup of tea if you wanted to, have a coffee. Like, I was thinking, this is how people are living. This is how people are just enjoying going to a football match and you're in the VIP suite and you're having a free course meal, like a whole dinner while the players are kicking a ball around on the pitch that's literally right there. Like, I was thinking, what? People are living. Ah! People are enjoying, you know. So cool. My friend Dio, he invited me to come. He's a plug, basically. <laughs> yeah, so my friend Dio invited me out with some other people, his other friends. A couple of people I already knew, and then there were some other people that I didn't know that got to meet. So it was just really nice vibes, you know. It was a nice, cute evening. And then we went over to um, White City Soho House, where we just got some drinks and chilled. I didn't get home until like 2 o'clock in the morning or 3, I, I, I can't remember. But it was a nice evening out you know went to go watch some footy you know what i mean i didn't actually plan to vlog hence why i vlogged it on my phone i left the house thinking that i wasn't gonna vlog but then when i got there i was like wait i'm actually going to watch a football match for the first time live at a stadium i want to vlog this okay <laughs> i don't think i realized what was happening and then i was like wait i actually want to vlog this you know for memories you know so i just ended up vlogging on my phone otherwise i would have brought my camera and vlogged properly like the vlogging girl that i am <laughs> If I'd brought my camera, I would have been able to like vlog a bit more for you guys. But when I'm vlogging on my phone, it's kind of weird. Sometimes I actually forget to vlog bits. So, but yeah, right now we're about to head out because Natanya is dragging me to IKEA. <laughs> well, she's not dragging me. We plan to go to IKEA today because we're doing some more shopping for university. Because as you guys may or may not know, Natanya is off to university next month, in September. She's going to be moving out. Um, I, I don't know if I'm ready, but yeah, Natan is going to be moving out <laughs> to go to university, so 
we're having to obviously do some shopping to get herself situated in her university accommodation we were doing some shopping yesterday before i went out with my friends to the football match so we're gonna be doing some more shopping today today is the ikea run yesterday we went to primark bnm and today we're dedicating to ikea because i feel like when you go to ikea like that's the only place you can actually go to for the day because it's, it's kind of like a long process going to ikea you can't just pop in and out you kind of have to go through the whole entire store you need a good few hours to do that it's about two o'clock we're gonna go to ikea and then i'm gonna drop Nathaniel off to work yeah that's the plan for today i'm gonna bring you guys along with us to ikea and yeah see what we can find you ready to go girl yep 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 <laughs> buy shot glasses to bring to that. university it's out of stock good because what do you I'll need shot glasses for also. what do you need shot glasses I for this is not a good sign this is not a good sign <laughs> glasses I bought myself yesterday in Ikea look at those very cute um, ah! oh my god oh my god oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah she looks serious oh it's so high like it's so high yeah <sighs> On my stories on Instagram, I showed you guys that if you mix red wine with um, red grape juice, right? This is red grape juice from Asda. I don't know other brands or other supermarkets that might do it, but I've only ever seen this in Asda, Asda brand. If you mix these two together, it actually sweetens the wine. So if you like your wine to be a little bit sweeter, add this honestly it tastes so good someone did say that it ruins the wine but i don't think it does because you're not adding that much like it's, it's still the wine taste is very much still there but it just sweetens it and i just really like it if you don't if you don't like that stuff if you don't want to mix nothing with your wine then obviously don't do it but if you want to make your wine a little bit sweeter or you like that kind of sweet taste sweet taste in your wine just add red grape juice from Asda. I was sharing that on my Instagram stories, but I was using this wine glass that I have, and someone was like, girl, I do not like that wine glass. It's so dated. Like, maybe it's because Instagram aesthetics is taking over my mind, and I just prefer other types of wine glasses, but apparently someone was really upset that I was using this type of wine glass for my wine. But I'm just like, why? Like, I like this. I've had this for years. I've had these ones for years. I also have this one, which, this one I don't really like that much, but I have it. I've had it for a while. But I was kind of like, dang, girl. Sorry that I'm using a wine glass that you don't like i'm so sorry um but then when i was in ikea with natania i saw these ones and i was like you know what maybe i should upgrade my wine glasses <laughs> maybe i should get a couple of new ones but i do genuinely like these what this one i've seen the this one i don't know where but i feel like i've seen this one this particular one online somewhere and i really like the shape especially like the bottom of them it's giving squarish 
at the bottom. I know it's round, but it kind of gives me a gives me a square vibe. So yeah, I do really like these ones. I thought I'd get a couple of new ones. Um, <clears throat> but I'm still going to use my old ones, okay? And whoever is upset about it can be upset about it. I'm sorry, okay? It's my, it's me that's drinking from it. It's not you. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. Today is the 1st of September. It's 12 p.m. right now. And I'm literally just about to have breakfast. Woke up so late. I'm so tired. I want to go on a prayer walk as well. So I'm going to do after I finish my breakfast. And then I'm going to do some editing. I'm going to edit this vlog. Um... I'm going to start editing this vlog because I want it to go up on Sunday. I want to get back into my routine of weekly vlogs, you know, get back, get back up to speed. We're in September now. It's time to grind. Okay. Last quarter of the year. Need to get, get the, get the grind mindset back on. Summer's over. Enjoyments. It's okay. It's done. We've done a lot of enjoyments. We would still do enjoyments, but we also need to get on the grind, you know? So I want to try and get myself back into the swing of weekly vlogs okay so yeah i'm just gonna make my breakfast um and then i'm gonna go on my prayer walk and yeah for those of you who probably haven't seen any of my older weekly vlogs and don't know what my what a prayer walk is it's kind of in the name i'm going for a walk and i'm praying at the same time <laughs> Good way of exercising, obviously walking is great for exercise and I wear my ankle weights as well but then at the same time as I'm walking I will be praying, talking to God, listening to gospel music, reading maybe a, de a devotional maybe on my phone and yeah just spending quality time with God in prayer and really talking to God, having that conversation and really sharing whatever's on my mind and everything. Good quality time with my creator okay while also keeping fit my hands are so dry oh my gosh also from ikea brown mugs they're like a dark dark brown how cute is that how cute it's so cute i really really like this you kind of trying to tell me that i have a broad back you do though like. yeah but you don't know if it might be an insecurity and you're there just rubbing it in my face <laughs> Every day she's like, oh my gosh, mom, your bump, your back is so like, no, so much, I don't say so much I surface area. Mom, okay, not every like, day. I don't no, say that every day. I just do things to it. And you ask me why I'm doing it, that's because I like your back. Girl. Only when you ask me why that I bring up the. the she's wood. always throwing things down my back, behind, it, like in my top. She's always put like digging my back, putting stuff like just leave my back alone, okay? No, leave my back alone. It's had enough. <laughs> very 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 much needed picked up a parcel that i got ooh, that was in concierge i don't know why they delivered it to my concierge when i was definitely at home at the time that they i got a text that it was going to be delivered i was definitely at home during that time but they still delivered it to concierge they do that a lot but anyway all i got was exfoliating cleanser just re-upped on my mirage exfoliating cleanser and um, i haven't actually used this in a while it's been months since i ran out of it when it initially finished i was gonna order it but then someone from murad the brand dm'd me on instagram and said that they wanted to like gift me some products because i think i might have mentioned somewhere that i obviously use this quite regularly and i think it was when i had my breakout i had mentioned that this is one of the products that really helped to clear up my skin during that time if you guys watched my previous vlogs you would know the whole drama that i had with this random breakout that i had so i emailed them what i wanted including this because obviously it's a regular thing that i use and they didn't get back to me so i'm just like we're here being <laughs> you know 
Um, so I was probably like waiting around for them to like get back to me or whatever. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy it myself because obviously it's something that I use anyway and I had run out of it and I needed to re-up on it. So I finally got round to ordering it. I use this as an exfoliating face scrub, but I have another one from Garnier. It's a clay mask thing. So I've been using that in the meantime because I did like that one as well. But obviously this would be my first choice. I was actually really enjoying the Garnier one, but I just feel like I still need this one, you know? <laughs> we know we have like certain skincare products that you know works and you like, but there's always a favorite that you just like, nothing can ever really replace it. And I feel like this Mirad Exfoliating Cleanser is definitely one that I think I just can't replace with anything else that I've tried so far okay as much as i'm enjoying using the garnier one i actually really do i need to use this one i want i want to be able to use this one so all of that finally got it don't know what's going on whoever from murad's team that dm'd me and didn't get back to me when i actually sent them the list of items that i wanted to be gifted girl oh boy what's going on okay hit me up natanya has gone to work it is i think it's about five o'clock yes oh I was rain. It's five o'clock. I need to get something to eat. I'm gonna have a protein shake with frozen berries. Spice it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to go and pick up Natanya from the station when she finishes work later on tonight. So I think I'm just gonna spend the rest of the evening at home doing some editing. And then I'll probably make myself something to eat or have the jello fries that I ordered yesterday. I still have some of that left over, so I'm probably gonna have that. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the mood for jollof. Yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? Can't you just get your own pots? Why is this child of mine stealing all of my pots to take okay, to university? Egg, so you don't have a I'm look at, look at this egg. girl. This girl just come and take all my pots. I'm taking this one, okay? Why? This one's not magnetic, so you can keep this dusty non magnetic pot. Excuse me, I'm if it's so one. dusty, why See are you ya? stealing all magnetic, of them? Magnetic, I'm taking it. Wow. I found some frying pans. What do you mean you found? You mean you stole? <laughs> No, her sending a voice message to her friends that she's found some pots. No, you stole some pots. She discovered that her university hob needs a magnetic pans or con conduction, whatever you call it. Con conduct conduction hob? It's a conduction hob. So it needs a magnetic thing. So now she's just like stealing all my magnetic pots when she's already bought pots from Ikea, which are magnetic. No, a frying pan that she bought isn't magnetic. Now she wants to steal all my pots. Where well, you get your own pot? Get your own pots, okay? Taking all my pots to university and I don't have no pots. Like, I don't be cooking. Is this the pot that you said you're taking? No, I'm taking this one. Hold on. Which pot? This one? No, nah, Natanya. Come on, please, please, please. Natanya. Please, please. This please. is the pot that I do my friggin' asparagus and my spring beans and my, what's it called? My broccoli in. Mom, can I say something? There are one, two, Three other pans in this household that you're telling me you need this pot. Yeah. Mum, you're I need her. this particular Mom, pot. you don't because the same thing you're cooking in this, you can cook in the other one. No, but this is a, a specific. No, it's not. It's a specific. No, it's not. Specific. <laughs> Do you know what? If you carry on, I'm going to take your um, wok as well. No, you're not taking my wok, Natanya. <laughs> you are not taking my wok. No. No. Put my wok back. Wait, where's the old wok? Put my wok back. Why would you throw it away when you knew I was going to university? What do you mean? Natanya, hey, this is my wok. You better get your own wok. Do you know what I mean? Because it's actually It's my thing. No, you're not taking it. <laughs> See? Good! That's what happens when you steal things. <laughs> no, wait for it out the window. <laughs> you tried to pass my walk. Pass my walk. I'm out. But I didn't put it 
for my fries, right? This girl's trying to take my good, good, my good, good walk, you know. Tell me where it's from. I can't remember where I bought this from. I don't know. It's, this is the brand, but I just can't remember where I bought it from. Oh, there's too many things. I need a watch. Trying to take all my rice. good, good pots and pans to university. Like, I say, if I don't need them. I don't know why she's put these ones out. Like, she's going to take these as well. How much pots does one person need at university? So now we're looking for a chip pan. They're, they're all bloody aluminium. The Argos one is aluminium. I need search induction. Induct, induction? Induction hob chip pans. Oh, my Dutch pot is bloody expensive. How much is it? Oh my god, this is one that we used to have from eBay. Look at the, the Jamaica Sun. Yeah, I was gonna say, basically, that Jessica said that in her 18th life she never heard of a Dutch pot, and I feel like it might be Caribbean. Yeah, of course, it's a Caribbean thing. I think, of course, you're literally Nigerian and you use a Dutch pot. So I'm yeah, was I not going out with a whole yeah, Jamaican but person for could, years? I'm not supposed to know you constructed your whole bloody cooking life for what? What? <laughs> I asked her mum, how did she learn how to cook? And she's like, your dad taught me. So basically, all her cooking knowledge came from my dad. He learned something new from every relationship thing. Anyways, these dot pots are like £30. So <laughs> <laughs> Pounds, do you need a Dutch pot that bad? Yeah, can't you just you cook your food in a regular pot? No, because when you make a pepper steak, yeah. In fact, pepper steak is even Jamaica, so it's even the original ancestors were using Dutch pots. The original actually. ancestors? Yes, yeah, so when they were making pepper steak, I, they were using Dutch pots. I should. When you make pepper steak, you need to fry up the beef in the Dutch pot. Yeah, everything. Yeah, man. A Dutch pot is needed. And it's not even like a thing where you can get away with it. The, the pot will legit not heat up. So if I try to cook anything, it legit will not heat well, up. get a Dutch pot then. Mum, the Dutch pot is bloody £30. From where? Everywhere. Like, every shopping tab that's open is all 30 40 50 pounds. Is that how much I paid for mine? Where did you get that Dutch pot from? Actually, I don't want that Dutch pot. It's the induction. No, the old Dutch pot that I used to have. I don't know where I got it, it from. On eBay, it's £40. You're going to buy a pot from eBay? I don't trust it. <laughs> is it used? <laughs> <laughs> people that are not Jamaican, what are they using to cook their stew? What do African people use? We just use pots. Also, this pot is black, so how am I supposed to see the colour of what I'm cooking? What? The pot is black. So? It's supposed to be silver. N so how am I supposed to see? Well, I'm cooking pepper steak, so how am I supposed to see this too dark or too light? If I put too much brown in it and all that. You can clearly see, Natanya. But the pot is black. Yeah, that doesn't stop so you from seeing what you. colour your food is. Oh. What is wrong with this child? Wait, can I take? Wait. No, you can't. Mum, you need to work with me here. Natanya, you know you can just get your own pots. Mom. I don't know why you feel that it's my pots that you want to take. No, why are you coming to bring a whole... <laughs> Natanya, no, wait, wait, no, wait, wait, no, wait, Natanya. Wait. Why are you coming to now bring a whole... Nah, this, this, no. Mum, this is stressing me out. I need to get tea towels. Can we just deal with one problem at a time? Works well on all types of hobs, including induction. There we go. This is what I'm cooking my pepper steak in. Here we go. Well done. No, yeah, that's perfect. A bit like narrow though. Diameter 22. What does that mean? Is that how round it is? But you know, diameter is um. What's that? Oh my gosh, this is a good question. Diameter is radius times two, and radius is from here to the middle. So diameter is like this. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I haven't thought about that in a long time. Like, you know, like GCSE maths. Yeah, it's only 22. This is 24, which means it's skinnier than this. I knew it looked a bit Only slim. by two centimetres. Yeah, but even this is still too slim. It needs to be wider than this. Oh, I think I've seen this point in Ikea. I think I know what that point is. It's, it's basically long, but Yeah, it's, narrow. it's deep, but it's like narrow. that. I don't yeah. want that one. No, wide and relatively deep. Oh, like that, this. Mom, are you actually being serious? That's li look at it. Yeah, but it's wide. Mum, look round. at this pan, mum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mum, you're actually taking No, but it's wide. Mom, look at it's it. It's wide and it's round. Is that deep enough to cook a whole pepper steak stew, mum? Oh, yeah, maybe not, actually. Uh, but, um, <laughs> what is wrong with you? Look at it. I feel like that's deep enough. Oh, though. my gosh, mum, you're actually taking the mic. I think that's actually deep mom, enough. Mum, you're actually taking the mic. That mom, is deep enough, Natalia. How deep is your bloody pepper steak? <laughs> okay, so I'm getting ready to go to the gym and I have some errands to run. Yeah, today's basically giving emails, errands, organizing my life and seeing what the heck I'm doing myself this week. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here and we'll pick up from tomorrow for next week's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>